Overriding dimension styles, new dimensions. We can go into our dimension style manager. Let's go up and we'll click in our dimension style manager here. And we can modify uh, our dimension style just for a few draw, uh, dimensions or so. So we would do that by hitting the override button. This will be temporary just for this style only. So I hit override and then it says what do you want to change well I want to come in and change my offset of the origin to be zero and I'll say OK and now I'll close now when I create my uh, dimensions for my location of my hole I can say endpoint to endpoint you notice how there's no gap in here right now. And I'll come over and I'll do the other one. Okay. Now, the minute I switch dimension styles, uh, it will terminate this override. So, um, I can go, let's say, over here to annotative and I can go back into my and you'll see that that override it used to have a little uh, child come down here a little bracket type thing come back and so now I can set that back to current uh, so anytime you use the override you'll see a little drop down and it'll show that it's overridden and I can now come back in here and place another dimension and I don't get uh, the zero anymore. I get back to my normal style. So well, you can use what's called a dimension override in the dimension style manager. It's good for um, as long as you use that style, you can uh, make changes, some minor changes, and then you can jump back into any other style and continue on with your drawing.